ladies and gentlemen, since you have requested it, I'm going to do it. I love to do match previews. Uh, I discussed a wee tiny wee bit about it in the, the podcast, the Celtic Mind podcast, episode 16. Um, if you haven't checked that, guys, check it out after this video. It's obviously up, up on the channel already with Lewis. Um, Celtic be looking to make it the three wins from three in all competitions when they take on FK Jatwinik in the second leg group, like third qualifying qualifier round qualifier on tomorrow. I'm recording this and um, I'm going back to the games eventually after 17 months. I'm finally going to be back at Celtic Park. I can't wait to be honest with you. Um, match vlogs are back soon, starts tomorrow. Can't wait to do them. I'm buzzing to be back at Celtic Park. Just what you know what I mean. Um, I'll talk about my score predictions and all that stuff for, uh, before we get into guys subscribe like support has been great as per usual let's get into the hoops take a 2 go advantage obviously 4-2 into the clash at Parkhead with a playoff in the next round against AZ Alkmaar awaiting the winner um, now Ange Posco is now beginning to enjoy life as a Celtic boss after a successful week both domestically and in Europe with side winning 2 games and scoring 10 goals in the process of course Kyle um, Kyogo Furuhachik, you know, the title. The Hoops won the first leg of the Europa League qualifier 4 2 in the Czech Republic last Thursday. Folk claim they're an athletic 6 0 victory at home against Dundee in the Scottish Premiership on Sunday. Um, Sunday and it was great, great to watch it south of part for the fans that were there as well. And hopefully, we get more of them performance throughout the season. Uh, Summer signed Kyogo Furuhachi, who scored against Germany last week, also scored a hat trick against the De- Dark Blues on his home debut in front of 24,500. Um, Celtic supporters. Tom Rodrick, Anthony Rallison and also Ned Ward obviously on the score sheet at Park Kett helped the Hoops claim their first league win of the new campaign. Uh, Postcoggle held an incredible debut for his new Japanese edition but was just as impressed with, his, with the forwards work ethic and the defensive efforts as much as clinical finishing in front of goal. Celtic now switched their focus back to their European tie which they can take plenty of confidence in you knowing that a defeat by one goal margin, we'd still see them progress in the next round, which we want to see. We don't want to see, never see a defeat, you know, at Celtic Park, especially. But, you know, full fans are back, full 60,000 seat back. You know, I think if Celtic are carrying the same way from Dundee game into this game, we're going to be flying. I, so I, I, tell, I, told, I spoke about it, I discussed it with Lewis in the, the podcast. We're going to be flying. I'm, I'm I'm not surprised with score, like, maybe a it again if Kyle goes starts again, which he should, you know, but there's no reason he can't, you know what I mean? Maybe Bukhafi starts, I don't know. Uh, but however, Postcoggle will want this player, these players to build momentum and not take their foot off the gas as previous seasons have shown. You know, 2 0 up to take the foot off the gas. Never took never took the foot off the gas until, you know, at least 10 minutes left. But it was still scored, do you know what I mean? Um, um, took the foot off the gas as Australian aims to build a strong run of form before the first old from Derby of the season is just over two weeks' time. That's mad, isn't it? Uh, August 29th. Uh, advancing from the third qualifying round for see Celtic face Dutch outfit AZ Altmar in the pl- final playoff round in the Europa League. Though a tough defeat on aggregate will see the hoops demoted in an in Europe Europa Conference League. We don't want to see it, never, never. Um, despite trailing by a two goal margin, Jablonek can take some belief, of course, you know, why not? Um, in the second after posing a, f- posing a threat in several occasions into the final third, you know, if we carry. If we stay with the defensive wise we came on Sunday with Welsh and Starfield, Taylor and Rousen, but I feel confident. I know I keep talking about Taylor. We still need to get something for Taylor and obviously, you know, a competition, you know, depth. Um, but I still feel confident we can easily, um, I say easily, you know, easily beat uh, Jarmanek on Thursday. There's no doubt about that. Um, but hopefully we can. Um, Jablonek head into the second leg on Thursday, having previously qualified for the Europe League group stage only once before in 2018. Um, team news, what we want to team news, why not? Celtic will still be without forward league Griffiths and defender Chris Julian, who, stunned, uh, who continue to recover from respective calf and knee injuries. Summer signing James Coffey has been training with his new teammates since arriving from Crystal Palace, and he could be in the matchday squad on Thursday, though the Irish midfielder is unlikely to be behind the start. He could be on the bench, so we could see him if, you know, for example, 4 0 up maybe on the night, you know, um, we see James McCarthy gone, you know what I mean? Um, after impressing and centre striker's role last weekend, Furashi is set to keep his place in the starting 11. I don't see why not if heard of Edward. With James Forrest and Leo Badden, the most likely candidates to join the Japanese internationally three man attack. As for Jablonek, Roda is expected to stick with 4 2 3 1 formation. Though this could be in 
interchangeable to, to adopt a solid five man midfield with, when required. It's been one I am not v- v- la- Lav Pillar who scored in the first leg as well in the last weekend week weekend's last match. Uh, set to start on the left flank well with Thomas Malinsky to operate on the right and Martin Dodelzal, <laughs> what a name, expected to lead the line in attack. So Celtic's possible starting line up on um Thursday, uh, tomorrow night, sorry. So I'm going to go with Hart, Ralston, hopefully, fingers crossed, Welsh, Starfelt, Taylor, McGregor, Soro, Turnbull, Abada, Farahashi, and Forrest. Um, I don't see why that lineup, you know, people might question me, but I think it's a. I mean, you drop out Rogic, but I feel that we could still be a good side. I think Soro might come in just for that, you know, but it's tight or something, you know, what I mean? just getting it out. I mean, um, maybe McCarthy later on in the game could run for Sorrow. Do you know what I mean? Or maybe Roger will start. I don't mind. I really don't mind. Roger really was really really good on Sunday. There. I don't. Um, I won't be. Won't be disappointed if he starts Roger again. Um, for FK Jablnik, possible starting early. It's going to be hard because I need to search this. But anyway, I've got a wee search here on my phone um, of the lineup, potential lineup. Just looked at the lineup last week and thought, yeah, I might go for this. Hannes Holik, uh, Hubista, Salenzi, Krob, uh, Pozanek. Uh, Huska, Malinsky, uh, Karajivil, <laughs> Pilla, and Dol Ezao. Um, I'm going to say Celtic 5 as I said in the podcast. I said 4 now, but do you know what? Lewis said that, so I'm going to say 5 now. Celtic 5, FK Germany now. The first goal on Thursday could be crucial if in this tie. If Celtic score the opener, it should be enough to confirm their place in the next round. If, but if Germany are in the net, first it'll be a ne- very nervous Celtic Park, you know, not just for this. You know, all around, you know what I mean? But however, we feel that Posh Coglu, Coglu's men will have no problem. Problems in claiming the comfortable one with more goals set to be celebrated at Parkhead. Um, for me, it's all around Celtic to win on Thursday night. 5 0 for me. Uh, what's that an aggregate? 9 9 2 if they don't score. <laughs> Hopefully not, they don't score. Click clean sheet again. Two clean sheets in a row, potentially. Um, also get transfer links as well, which is great. But um, right now, focus on the match preview and. Uh, I'll leave you on what Cal McGregor says for the fans coming back. We have a resp- responsibility to the supporters, to this club, to the badge, that every time we set foot on that pitch, we give everything. That's what I want from the players. And you showed it on Sunday, you know, the, the full-time huddle. That's what I want to see. Come on, more of this, you know what I mean? More of this every every week, you know, performing like this. And I see no reason why we can't do it tomorrow night. I'm buzzing to be back tomorrow night. Can't wait. Make sure I have no, no subscribe, like, notifications on for tomorrow night. And obviously future match now F- full fans are back so I'll be back obviously Sunday's game league cup against Sun- uh, Hearts and filler matches so can't wait to guys um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the the match day vlog <laughs>